as long as the technology works and it's sound and you've got dedicated filling points like with our new partners to tell the infrastructure is there that means that the only real decision that the logistics company now has to you know has, has to ask themselves is do i want to go cheaper or not the the environmental benefits are definitely there and there's no there's no question about the environmental benefits it's been proven time and time again so yeah from a conscience point of view there's there's definitely no excuse not to go there but from a cost point of view if if you are a CFO of a company it's your fiduciary responsibility to cut your cost for your shareholders and if you're not doing that then shame on you and you know the beauty about this is that there is, there are no more excuses it is a cheaper alternative and it's better for the environment there, there was an element of build it and they will come um, but now that um, now that we have you know that that we've basically gotten all of the planets to align vis-a-vis having the dedicated filling points we've given certainty to our customers in that in that regard um you know the with with some really innovative solutions like uh, like DAF adopting dual fuel Volvo and Scania and Iveco bringing in dedicated LNG um trucks into the country we've we've started to see a massive upsurge in demand for the remaining product that we have left and for phase 1 it it is a race to the finish at the moment um we're we're already starting to look further abro- uh, further afield now and starting to consider our phase 2 allocations where yeah it won't be a little baby plant anymore that'll be a that'll be a properly significant lng production facility and uh, and will be more in line with global with global production capabilities so um so right right now for, for phase 1 it's a race to the finish 2023 phase 2 um you know we're we're starting to take orders now for the for the larger char- for the larger tranches of energy